The next item we need to talk about and you need to know about is refraction. Look at this beautiful CCIE glass. And look at what happens if I put a spoon in that glass. Do you see? Let me pause for a second. You see the spoon seems to be cut in half right at the point where the spoon gets in the water. This is refraction. What happens here is that the light, in this case, changes direction because it's going through a different material. It was going through the air, then it went through the glass, but the glass was not thick enough to create a big issue. But then it went through water, which has enough quantity of it to alter the direction of the wave, and then it goes out of the glass again in the air to your eye. So depending on if there is or there is not water in what you see, the spoon, then the angle of the light would have been altered or not. And the result is that, you know, that effect where uh, the glass seems to be uh, cutting the spoon in two. Okay, I wish you get a glass, a uh, CCI glass one day. But if you go back to my wave, the absorption may be one FX where the wave is simply less strong, weaker on the other side of the wall, but it may also happen that the direction of the wave is going to change. Do you bother about that too much indoor? Not really. In outdoor environments where you may have long distances to travel, this may be an issue. Indoor refraction is typically not a problem you need to worry about, but it's still a concept you need to be aware of for your exam.